Well, the weather's gonna be a real mixed bag over the next few days. At times, it'll be nice and sunny, but that won't last for long. Tonight, we'll be mainly clear with a low of 13 degrees. Tomorrow morning is shaping up to be another sunny one, but the skies will cloud over in the afternoon. The high will be 27 degrees. On Wednesday, there's the chance of morning showers, but in the afternoon, the clouds will disappear and sunny skies are expected. The low will be 16 with a high around 26. Well, Justin Smallbridge uh, joins us again now with tonight's entertainment. Justin, I guess uh, they say the Phantom scared off the competition tonight at the Doras. It did indeed, Paul. That's exactly what happened. Now, uh, the awards, the Dora Maver Moore Awards, uh, recognized achievements in Canadian, specifically Toronto theater, over the preceding year. They managed to take both the short-term view, looking at the preceding 12 months, and the long-term view, looking to people who really have uh, been dedicated to theater in the city over a protracted period of time. And holding them tonight, as a matter of fact, uh, sort of a small irony here, uh, an interesting kind of way, they, uh, the awards recognize people who've uh, made great theatrical strides and achievements, and they were held at what uh, might be Toronto's biggest theatrical event over the past 12 months. That's the recently reopened Elgin Theatre. They gathered to celebrate their art and to slap one another on the back for theatrical achievements, both small and large, at the Elgin Theatre tonight. And the Dora Maver Moore Awards are the year's biggest celebration of Toronto theatre. How fitting, then, that the majority of prizes went to a musical written by a British playwright and directed by a New Yorker. Phantom of the Opera copped at least seven prizes, including Best Direction for a Musical. Needless to say, Hal Prince, the director, couldn't make it. He was working. In fact, almost every time the Phantom was nominated and won, a substitute picked up the prize, since the recipients were busy, a couple of doors away, performing. If you had to shoot a bird or a dog, which would you shoot? <laughs> I'd shoot a bird. Michael Landace's play, The Collected Works of Billy the Kid, was tonight's other big winner. It seemed to get almost all the awards that didn't go to Phantom of the Opera, including Best Set Design. In between warm testimonials and heartfelt thank yous, the audience enjoyed excerpts from various Toronto productions. The Brenda Donahue Award for Outstanding Contribution to Theatre went to John Kaplan, Now Magazine's theatre editor. I'm a really lucky person because I'm doing exactly what I want. I'm promoting theatre in an exciting place. He is indeed an exciting place, particularly out here, particularly at this moment. Congratulations to all the winners, and I guess uh, the people that were nominated and didn't win will be working twice as hard in the year to come, hoping to cop a Dora Maver Moore Award next year when they hand them out. That wraps it up in entertainment from out here on Young Street. And now, Paul, it's back inside to you. <laughs> That's just around the corner. Well, last night, the Phantom of the Opera was once again the toast of Toronto. It dominated the Dora Awards, which are presented to Toronto's most outstanding theatre productions. The night began with a pre-show cocktail party where friends and colleagues took time to wish each other well. And then the ceremonies began. The biggest winner at Toronto's Theatre Awards was The Phantom of the Opera. A touch ironic considering the director Harold Prince is a New Yorker and playwright Andrew Lloyd Webber is a Brit. To no one's surprise, the multi-million dollar Phantom of the Opera swept the doors this year, receiving six in all, including Best Director for a Musical and Best Musical Production. None of the winners could accept their awards. They were accepted by associates. Of course, the winners were up the street performing last night. If you had to shoot a bird or a dog, which would you shoot? <laughs> I'd shoot a bird. Michael Ondaatje's sleeper, The Collected Works of Billy the Kid, was another big winner. It got three awards, including Best New Play in the Drama Comedy Division. <laughs> Between the award presentations, the audience was treated to excerpts from several of the nominated productions. 
And the Brenda Donahue Award for Outstanding Contributions to Theater went to Now Magazine's theater editor, John Kaplan. I'm a really lucky person because I'm doing exactly what I want. I'm promoting theater in an exciting place. And I know just how he feels. And that's in entertainment. And now here's a look at a couple of things happening in Toronto this evening.